make some observations about what I see going on in our world today. There is a tremendous amount of coercion that I see happening. And uh, when individuals do not step in line, there seems to be um, a bit of name calling and bullying and uh, some of the terminology that has been used is, is rather despicable and yet uh, they continue to do that thinking that if they shame people that maybe they'll step in line. Now obviously if you know anything <laughs> about dysfunction you'll see that this is projection. So what they're literally doing is projecting who they are onto other people. And this is becoming so obvious and I'm, I'm glad that people are waking up to this sort of thing. Um, and um, they're standing up and saying, this, this is enough of this. Um, I find something rather humorous that is going on right now. Um, this same group has been doing a tremendous amount of lying. And uh, this is where I find the humor, is liars and people that are despicable like this, they have a tendency to gravitate to other people that are despicable in the same fashion. We've just got the Secretary of State that has got up and spoke, and he just cannot believe that the group that they have aligned themselves with on the other side of the world um, has lied to them. They, they're putting together their cabinet and it's not the people that they said they were gonna use and they're just absolutely dumbfounded that they would lie. Well, when you're a liar and you align yourself with other people that are liars and you're shocked at it, that's just a mirror into who you are. And so um, this is why it is, is good, one, to be saved to align yourself with God, and two, to abide by his principles. And uh, it's no surprise that the enemy is going to call you everything under the sun. Um, Jesus was condemned for blasphemy because he said that he was God. Um, guess what? He was God, and how did he prove that? Well, he rose on the third day. He had power over death. What is happening right now? Well, there's a lot of fear mongering, trying to scare people, uh, that they're going to die. For the child of God, he's already overcome death through the blood of Jesus Christ, and so there is no fear of death, and so the enemy cannot uh, fear monger a child of God, and so there's going to be a lot of name calling, there's going to be a lot of projection, and uh, just like they're surprised that uh, the, the person they've aligned themselves with now is a liar, in the end, they're going to be surprised when they realize that Jesus Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. All this fear mongering that they're doing to try to get power, guess what? It's going to come to a halt when Jesus comes back on that white stallion. And I just cannot wait for that day. May God bless you. Thank you for listening to these little insights. Appreciate it.